Yep, I'm good, thank you. That was nice of him. I pulled over to turn on my camera because I'd forgotten to turn it on. It checked on me. That was nice. 8,478 miles. Now I'm dressed plenty warm for this. I've got the hippo hands on. The downside is it's difficult to use my mirrors at the moment because, well, all I really see is bright orange in them because of the way that they're set up. So I like my bar end mirrors because they allow a little bit of extra vision around the edges. <laughs> Had old me on the road there. Just popping right along here. Easy peasy. These hippo hands, they're these big fluffy things on my hands here. I used them last year on my Honda PCX and they worked very well. Used them all winter. I haven't used them on this because I have to remove the bar end mirrors to use them and the bar end mirrors are very handy for seeing what's going on behind me. So, kind of a trade-off. They do a great job. I mean, today is 23 degrees, I think. It's cold, very cold. It's the third day of February, 2023, and so it's winter cold. So dressing for the weather, nice warm, big orange thing on top of other layers. I picked up a pair of Carhartt insulated trousers, very nice. Still only one pair of socks. One thing to remember when you're on a motorcycle, these yellow signs that give you a recommended speed around a corner, that's only a recommended speed. <laughs> it's not actually you have to go that speed, it's just a recommendation. Oftentimes, folks on motorcycles will push those speeds to see how fast they can go around the corner above the speed. It's a challenge in a way. Oh, wow, there's a plane coming in. It's a windy day to be flying. That's nifty. There is a commuter service that flies out of Lancaster, and I think that may be one of the planes for that. They run a little prop. I know they're contracted with one of the bigger airlines, I just don't remember which one. I can feel a little wind trying to push me around here. That looks like it's snowing up to the north there. That's quite a lot of wind. I mean, I'm barely feeling it at the moment, which is something to be said about this bike. Even with the windscreen and the box on it, I'm barely feeling the wind, which is amazing to me. interesting thing when I pass this barn it's going to cut some of the wind and then I'm going to get hit by it when I go around the, that's exactly what happened I've ridden in wind often enough to know that will happen Whew. that's something else I'm going to just head back towards my house at this point oh jeez hello bull this road before today. 
with my wife. It's not like I'm invisible today. I mean, because I was paying attention, it wasn't a close call. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. Well, what the heck, lady? My freaking word! She almost freaking hit me. Uh, I was at the stop sign. Jeez. Oh, I'm going all the freaking way home. Uh, Lots of gravel on the road here. Chase. Lots of gravel here too. They've patched the sides, that's why. Again with the wind. Oof. It's crazy. I'm riding right into it. I am glum with the wind. Ah. I can't even max out above 43, 44. And to be fair, with the gusts the way they are, I don't really want to go much faster than that. Uh, a bit of a windbreak with the trees, making life a little easier still. A lot of focus when you ride in the wind. This is actually the worst I've had it on this bike so far. For the most part, this bike has been a treat to ride when the wind is picking up. But today, a little bit more of a challenge. Okay. I get this barn up here. That'll work just fine. Well, that's something. That wind's been crazy. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, my word. That wind is brutal. I haven't fought wind like this since I was riding my NT last year back from Massachusetts. Oof. Wow, look at that. That flag is whipping around. So, you know, I ain't joking. It didn't start out so bad. It didn't feel quite like I was fighting, but I think the wind was at my back while I was going out. But now running into the wind, my word. It's quite a different play now. <laughs> Well, this has been exciting. I'm almost done, thankfully. So thank you for joining me on Wendy Day Ride, day 142. Looks like I have 15 miles so far. Uh, might be 16 by the time I get home. Either way, that's more than enough to meet the goal and <laughs> put a day in the bag when it's so windy that, oh, my word. That was no fun at all. That was interesting. I don't like riding in the wind. I mean, I'll do it to make my goal, but I don't like it at all. It's a lot of work. It's unnerving, it's uncomfortable, it's not enjoyable. I don't mind riding in the cold, I don't mind riding in the snow, I don't mind riding in the rain, but I hate riding in wind, and I've said that before. So this has been Grom with the Wind. Thanks for watching. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. 
May the wind always be at your back. <laughs> and may your wheels never be parallel to the ground. Uh, scootin' fool out.